Hi, I'm Kella, and this is my pet therapy dog, Lucy. She just loves to be pet, and she loves to be read to, especially before her nap time, don't you, girl? <clears throat> I've selected this book today for our reading. It is called The Adventures of Henry the Hedgehog. And imagine my surprise when I realized that this is a local author from where I live and somebody that I know, Dr. Renee Skelton. All right. I cannot wait to hear this story. On most sunny days, you can find Henry swimming in a small watering hole near his house. Today was no exception. Excited to cool off, he scurried off to another adventure. This time, he was going to meet his best friend, Patrick, to swim the entire day. I love spending my day doing that. Lucy can't swim. But she likes to lay in the sun, don't you, girl? Have you ever met a hedgehog? I haven't, only at the zoo. Oh, there's my other buddy, Smokey. As Henry approached the water, he heard a soft whispering, whimpering by a tree. Henry wanted to find out what he was hearing, so he quickly followed the sound. There, slumped against the tree, was a black and white skunk who was crying. Are you a skunk? You're black and white. No. Smokey's a border collie. You want to get in on story time, pal? Have a seat. Henry said, excuse me, are you okay? Because that's the right thing to do when someone's not feeling well, isn't it? To find out if they're okay. The skunk looked up and said, mm -hmm. hi, I'm, I'm okay. The skunk did not look okay. Look, he even has a tear in his eye. Henry was confused. Why was she crying but said she was okay? It didn't make any sense. Henry wanted to know more and said, I don't think we've met. I'm Henry, what's your name? The skunk looked up with tears in her eyes and said, I'm Shelly. This book has some fun facts on the bottom of the pages about the animals too. We're not gonna read those today, but when you read the book yourself, you can go back and learn all about the skunks and the hedgehogs. Henry felt sad. Do you feel sad when you hang out with someone who's sad? Do you, Lucy? I heard you crying. What's wrong? Shelly wiped her tears and quietly said, I just don't belong. I I wish I wasn't a skunk. Henry didn't know why Shelley said that, but it made him even more sad. Look how sad she is. She needs a tissue. Sit down. Sit down for story time, Smokey. Shelley continued. An otter named Olivia told me that stinky skunks are not allowed in the water 
and then called me Smelly Shelly. It made me sad. It's not nice to make fun of people or call them names, is it? Huh, Lucy? It makes anyone feel bad. Henry could not believe his ears. He did not understand why someone would call her smelly and be so mean. Again, he felt bad for his new friend. Shelly, you don't deserve to be called a mean name. Nobody should call anyone mean names. Shelly looked up at Henry and said, I am used to not fitting in. I don't like the way I look. Sometimes I feel like I want to be something else. Shelly continued, You see, when I try to play with the others, they want to play with me. They don't want to play with me. I think they get scared of me spraying them. But I wouldn't do that, Henry. I won't. I would never spray them on purpose. Have you ever gotten sprayed by a skunk? Or maybe smelled a stinky skunk? I've never got sprayed, but my puppy dogs have. And it sure is Stinky. But it's their defense mechanism, right? That's how the skunk protects themselves from predators and scares them away. Henry quietly listened as his new friend shared her story. I wear beautiful scarves to hide my stripes so that they can't see it. I even spray perfume to cover up my scent, but they still don't want to play with me. As Henry listened, he thought of the many times he felt like he didn't belong, and it made him sad. Shelly, I know how you feel. I used to want to be a porcupine. I wanted longer quills and to be taller. But I realized that's not who I am. I'm a hedgehog, not a porcupine. Shelly listened closely to Henry. She knew he understood her sadness. Henry, how did you make yourself feel better? Henry was eager to share. Hmm. Did you tell someone how you felt when you were sad? There's lots of people you can go to. You can tell a friend, a brother or sister can give you a big hug. A puppy is always willing to give you a hug and a lick on the face. You can talk to your parents or maybe a teacher or a counselor or a coach. There's so many people that care about you that if you're sad, you can go and tell someone. I learned to love myself. I realized I would never be a porcupine no matter how much I tried. I also tried to be something I was not. I wore shoes to make myself look taller and tried to grow my quills longer. It didn't work and I was frustrated. Henry continued, we are all different and I had to learn to love myself for who I am. That is when the magic happens. The magic? What's the magic, Lucy? Do you know what the magic is? Shelley was confused too. What was this magic he was talking about? Let's turn the page and find out. Henry, what do you mean by magic? Henry chuckled. <laughs> the magic of belonging, not just fitting in. When you feel like you matter, you begin to love yourself. Then you don't care as much what people think about you. 
Henry's words made Shelley smile. Henry, may I ask you a favor? Sure, Shelley. Would you mind going to play with me in the water? Hen Henry quickly agreed and they both headed to the watering hole. It's nice to have a friend who loves you for who you are. As they approached, Patrick waved to Henry and shouted, Henry, I've been waiting for you. Olivia and I are having so much fun. Come and join us. Suddenly, Olivia realized that Shelly was with Henry and said, Wait! Smelly skunks are not allowed in the water. And that means smelly Shelly. But Henry can join us. That's so mean. Have you ever had a friend tell you that you couldn't play with them? How did that make you feel? I think it would make me feel sad. I would feel left out. But I always say the more the merrier. We can have more fun adventures with more friends. Henry said, Olivia, that's really mean. Why would you say that about her? Olivia yelled, she's a skunk and she stinks. P-U. Shelly quickly replied, yes, I can smell bad at times, but that's only when I get scared. When you call me Smelly Shelly, it hurts my feelings and makes me sad. Henry was proud of Shelly for standing up for herself. That doesn't always mean that someone's going to play with you just because you stand up for yourself. But if they don't want to play with you, it's best to find someone else who will. You don't want to hang out with negative Nellies. Olivia thought about what she had said to Shelly and immediately felt bad. She didn't mean to be so mean. She honestly thought skunks smelled bad all the time. Sometimes we just don't know. We judge someone from the outside by what we think we know or what they look like and that's just not nice or fair. And sometimes we really miss out, don't we Lucy? I had no idea skunks smelled only when scared. I thought they were always smelly. I'm sorry for being so mean, Shelly. Shelly smiled at Olivia and said, thank you. I just want to have fun and be part of the group. Olivia agreed and stated, well, let's go have some fun. They spent the rest of the afternoon laughing and playing in the watering hole. Sometimes when we make judgments about other people, we're totally wrong because we just don't know. And so when we get to know people, we can love them for the person that they are. Have you ever thought something was true about someone and then later you found out you were wrong? I bet that made you feel kind of bad. But it's nice to learn about other people and be open to new experiences with new friends. As they were about to leave, Shelly hugged Henry and said, thank you for the gift you gave me and for being a good friend. That's what good friends do, right? They stand up for each other. Henry smiled and asked, what gift did I give you? Shelly winked at Henry and said, you taught me to love myself. Henry smiled, you're very welcome. That's what friends are for. It's so important to love yourself. Whether you have straight hair or curly hair, blue eyes or brown eyes, or short or tall, Maybe you have special gifts.
Maybe you're creative and like to draw, or maybe you're athletic and like to play sports. It's important to love the person that God made you. What are the good things about you that make you different from others? You know, I have a secret to tell you. When I was younger, I was embarrassed by my name because it was different. My name is Kella Blue, blue like the color. And I thought that was kind of silly. And people are always asking me why my name was the way it was. And I kind of got tired of explaining myself because I didn't really have a good answer. But, you know, being different is not always bad. It makes you memorable. And again, you have to love the person that you are and the person that God created you to be. We're all unique in our own special way. And that is the end of our story. How did you like that story with Henry the Hedgehog? Did you like it, Lucy? Just like we're all different, dogs are different too. And we love Lucy for her wrinkles. She's a wrinkly dog with soft, soft, head and ears and she appreciates you for joining us for story time thanks for watching i'll see you next time say bye lucy